Hey everybody. All right, so I'm gonna wait for some people to hop on here. And then we are going to be doing some super awesome, lots of different things today. I have lots of stuff in the way, just ignore it. I have been, oh my gosh, it's been crazy. Everything is on this desk. So today I'm gonna be doing kind of like a bunch of things at once. I'm going to be doing um, some reviews on The Ordinary. I have used it for the past month and I do wanna give you guys some update on that. I'm going to show you what I got in my March boxy charm that I never reviewed. And then what I'm really excited about is I'm going to be reviewing these lippies that a friend of mine had referred to me. And I think it's Uji or OG. I'm not really certain. If you know, you can go ahead down below and let me know. But let me know if you can hear me or if I'm freezing up or whatnot because I have my phone backwards for right now. Um, that way it's a better quality, I guess. So I'm still waiting for the power adapter for my camera battery so my camera doesn't die while I'm going live. So my shirt is wet because my hair is wet. We did a good workout today and then we went on a walk. Then I took a shower, got cleaned up, and now I'm here doing my thing. So if you are new here to my lives, which have been a very long time, then welcome. If you're not, then thanks for stopping by and spending some time with me. Um, I usually do lives every Saturday, but I have missed a couple Saturdays because I have had a lot of things going on with the COVID-19 issue and work issues and everything and the kids are out of school. It is a mess. So... We're gonna get into it. So the first thing I wanna talk about is The Ordinary. I got these back in uh, March 13th-ish, March 12th-ish, somewhere in the beginning of March. And I heard a lot of good things about them and that they were so good and they're very inexpensive, but I use them. And so my main concern for my skin is texture. I get a lot of texture. I don't know if it's gonna pick up on my phone but I get a lot of texture and I was like reading, hey Ray, how are you? I was reading that it really, really helped a lot of people. So I followed their regimen and what they said that would help me with my texture and smooth my skin. Um, and overall, I did not have a good experience. So I will show you the things that I had and the things that I like and then tell you my concerns. So, and the first thing is I want to say why I don't like it them or why I had a bad experience. I have actually had way worse skin than I did before. And I can't show you because I'm live um, and I'm on my phone. But I have photos of my before when I started and then my after. It made my skin red. And everyone's like, oh, well, you know, that happens at first. Da -da. Well, it never went away. It made it red. It made the bumps way worse. Like my skin was so bumpy and gross it was hydrated I will tell you that's one good thing is it did really hydrate my skin um but when it comes to like texture it just really emphasized it and made it worse so I winded up discontinuing the use of it early I think it was last week I stopped good board we're crowded. yeah we're basically on house arrest here we can go out for like essential needs only but that's about it Anything else we're not supposed to be doing. So is anybody else like in that same area, by the way, like comment down below. I don't know what states you're from. Are there different rules? Are you not allowed outside at all? Are you allowed out for essential reasons? We're allowed to go like walking and stuff. So that's what me and the kids and my husband do. So, and I'm from Maryland. So we're, it's strict, but it's not as strict as I know some states you're not allowed to leave. Like absolutely cannot leave. They're pulling you over to check and stuff and it's crazy. So the first thing that I will show you guys is the glycolic acid 7% toning solution. Um, and this is a big bottle. And honestly, I used it every day at nighttime and I still have plenty in here. I just put some on a cotton swab. Alabama. Yeah, how bad is it there, right? I haven't heard too much about Alabama, but I wonder if it's like super bad. But so I put some on a cotton swab and I just put it all over my face after I wash it. And I do really feel like this has done a good job. So I'm trying to figure out like if it says on here. 
So it does say use for the night time and all that. So that's what I do only for work, groceries, and medicines. Yeah, so for work here too, um, you have to have, be an essential employee, which is basically the only things that are open around my area. So I did really like this one. Um, I did see reviews that it was causing some burning and tingling on sensitive skin. I do have very sensitive skin and I didn't feel any of that. The only time I did was right here because I get early chapped lips and it was bad. It, it burned a lot. But other than that, so if you don't have any open cuts or anything, you're good. I didn't have any issues with that. And I'll put the prices down below after I um, am done live streaming because right now I don't really have anything. I have my iPad here. But I don't have anything to like link down there. I work in a surgery center, but they decided to close. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's how it is here. 1900 So it's so weird because we went from, I think, last week when I checked, it may have been like 500 and something, maybe more than that, 1000 something. I don't know. And now we're almost up to like 3000 But I think we have... In my county, we only have like 41. So it's not too, too much directly around us, but enough for the state. I guess it like went so rapidly that our governor was like, nope, shutting it down. And we have people who are upset about it that they're shutting down because they're unemployed, which I completely understand. And then you have people who are like, it's not enough. You need to close it down. But I feel like <sighs> we're as closed down as we're going to get. Like there, you can't tell people they can't absolutely 100% leave their house because we still need food. There are people who, like for me and my family, we have a tiny house and a tiny fridge. We don't have Am I back on? Okay, can you guys see or hear me? Okay, I don't know what happened. I think that was my alarm and I apologize. So, the problem with filming on your phone, right? So, um, with us, it's like, I understand you don't want the spread and stuff, but people need to get food. So for instance, like I said, my fridge is a lot smaller, so we can't really go and hoard a bunch of meats and stuff and milk. We don't have the space for that. Did you see, Ray, since you're watching, did you see me cut out or was that still like just straight live? I don't know what happened. My alarm went off. I turned my phone to turn it off and it went like crazy and like cut me off and then I was right back on with no issue. I don't know what happened, but <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, okay, so I can see. But um, so back to what I was saying because I'm all over the place right now. So basically, I feel like our governor has shut us down the best that he can. Um, businesses that aren't really needed, aren't open. Um, I know that there are some businesses that are like using the smallest thing they can to stay open um but for instance i know that the kohl's warehouse is open because they sell mini fridges and i'm not trying to be a jerk but i kind of feel like that's you're putting people in danger over something like who is ordering mini fridges i guess maybe people because they don't have space but like i'm not going to order a mini fridge just to have more space i'm just going to go grocery shopping on a weekly basis which is kind of what I have to do because like I said I don't have any space I did get a shelf to put in my closet to put like dry foods and stuff on but that was about it like I don't have all that space to go and buy six months worth of groceries so hopefully they will not shut it down to that point because then I don't know how people are gonna get their food so I understand it's crazy I understand that like it's serious I'm not making a joke of it at all but I just there there has to be a balance because people still have to get their needs, like obviously not going to Walmart and shopping for shoes and clothes, but like their necessities. Your video was there, but your audio went out. Yeah, I had to, my alarm went off, so I had to like, it was stupid. Anyways, my fault. All right, so going back into the ordinary. So the next thing that I used was the hyaluronic acid. And you can kind of see there, I have used it. I use this every night and I also use it on my hands for my eczema. This was actually my favorite item of the brand. I love this and it literally hydrated my skin and it helped my eczema almost go away completely. Like it used to be so bad and I just have a little here now and like a little here, obviously not go away. My eczema will never go away. It's just something that I have to live with, but it makes the flare up really, really minimal. So I really liked that one. Um, what's another one I liked? 
So, yeah. Here is the other one. This is the Natural Moisturizing Factors, and this has hyaluronic acid in it. It is the Surface Hydration Formula. We were 614 total and have four had 44 deaths all oh, on the total. There are 29 positives here in my town. Jeez. That's so sad. Like, you know, 44 doesn't seem like a lot, but still, 44 people died. It's really sad. So this is the moisturizer, and I use this every day and every night, and you really do not need a lot. Like, this is still full to, like, here, and I've used it for, like, a month. You need very little, and it does actually feel really nice, so this is going to be another item that I'm keeping because I like how it made my skin feel. Now let's get into the complicated things. So this is the Squalene Cleanser. It's a makeup remover face cleanser. It's squalene based, which I found out is basically oil. So I don't have any issues with like breaking out or anything. Like I can use oils and stuff because I have really dry skin. I don't have any issues with my pores. But this stuff, and you can tell like I really use this one. I think it was making me break out. I don't get pimples. Like I'm, I'm not like, oh my god, I get pimples. But I really just don't. I don't have, I don't produce enough oil and all that nastiness to get pimples. I just don't because my skin is so naturally dry. But it was causing me to get pimples like on my hairline, which is disgusting. Like they were big, white, nasty pimples. So I did remove this one actually a little bit earlier than discontinuing the rest of them and the breaking out did stop. So this one you have to be careful with. I did go and see some more reviews and a lot of people were saying that it broke them out too. So just be careful because it is extremely oil based. So I got this guy, which is the 100% cold pressed virgin marula oil. And I have this from Drunk Elephant, but it was $72. Um, I honestly have to sit here and say, you get what you pay for. So this stuff irritated my skin. I would put it on my skin, but be so itchy. It just, I didn't like how it made my, my skin feel. When I put my Drunk Elephant on, like I really feel like it hydrated like it just gave it moisture where this stuff I, I just feel like it sat on top of my face and it just made me really itchy so I do not recommend this one either that stuff breaks me out in the same place anything yeah I, I had no idea because I don't really have those issues but like it was causing me like in my hairline and it was disgusting like they would get big and I'd be like oh my god that's so gross my spelling sucks now you're okay I suck at spelling Terrible, actually. So the next two things, um, this one is the azelic acid suspension. It, it's a brightening formula, and honestly, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I don't think it did anything terrible in my skin, but I also don't think it did anything good. Like, I don't think it did anything is what I'm saying. So I would definitely pass on this one. I don't really have anything negative to say. It's very tiny. I um, still have some in there, but... I don't think it did anything so I didn't see any brightness difference and then the last one which is going to be very controversial because a lot of people love this one this is the AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution um, when I first used it the first couple of times the next day my skin did seem a little bit smoother but then as I continue to use it it did nothing so I don't really know I only used it at most once a week maybe I'll up it and do it twice a week just to see because everybody raves about this product I do not like it only burned for a little bit it didn't really hurt me on the sensitive area um and it left like where I put it a little bit red afterwards but that's very normal for me because I'm very sensitive but it just I don't feel like it did anything I honestly I'm not gonna lie to you I don't feel like a lot of these products really did anything my skin didn't feel any better um, I have gone back to my original uh, skincare nighttime routine with my peptides and all that so because before I started this I actually started using that stuff and my skin was doing really good so I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for that one but um, as for recommendation, I do like the hyaluronic acid for moisture. If you need a really good toner, I do like the glycolic acid. But for the other stuff, like two of the items were okay. 
but I just wouldn't, I would not recommend this line. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I know a lot of people love it. So please do not attack me in the comments if you like it, if it works good for you. That's awesome. I do have a coworker who uses it and she really likes it. So it's just not for everybody. Um, not everything works for everybody, but in my opinion, to me, I didn't feel like it did anything for my skin and having to use like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products and not getting any results and some of them making my skin worse kind of pisses me off. So, um, that is my ideal on the ordinary and I just don't recommend it in my book. I do have a lot of pixie skincare stuff over here that they sent me. It's literally, I don't know if you can see it. Like it's a whole shabam and I have to review it. I just have not gotten to it. I'm starting back up on like filming weekly now. So I am going to have videos up Tuesday, Thursday and doing my lives on Saturday. Now that we've kind of adjusted to the new norm, once everything changes, It'll probably be up in the air again, but with four children and me and my husband are home, I'm working from home. Like it was so crazy with my jobs. It went from, we were off, then it was work a week, off two weeks. Then it was psych, come in, you're working, you're essential. <laughs> then it was only high risk people are going home and they're gonna telework. And then it was psych, you're all going home to telework. So it was just like, and then the kids are home until April 24th from school. And I obviously have to make them a schedule for schoolwork because I cannot let my kids down and just kind of let them do whatever. Uh, they need to have structure. They need to continue their education. So that's been on there. And then the baby. And it's just like, oh my God, this is the worst time of my life. And I kind of just was like, nope, YouTube, shutting it down. Shutting it down. And I felt really bad because I love you guys. And you guys bring me a lot of joy. And YouTube and makeup bring me a lot of joy. But just life went crazy. It's still going crazy, but we've kind of adjusted. You know what I mean? Kind of, you learn to deal with the crazy the more you have to deal with it. <laughs> so we're gonna move on to the next thing that I want to talk about tonight. Um, by the way, I have this guy, which I'm reviewing for Tuesday's video. I'm so excited. It's my first one. Um, I usually do not buy these because she shows everything that's in it and then I'm able to go, mm, I don't want that. But I was really excited for some of this stuff, so stay tuned for Tuesday for the Trend Mood box. So, mine aren't going back to school this year. I've heard a lot of people say that. Are they making them repeat the school year? Because I heard talks of that from Maryland, and I'm just like, you got to be kidding me. Because they only have like four months of school left, and you're going to make them repeat a whole grade. To me, that's insane. There has to be something... I know that the county is working on doing online schooling for them, but we'll see how that goes. I mean, I get it. Everything is crazy and messy for everybody, but it's been whew, whew, a wreck. So another thing that I did want to show you guys was my March BoxyCharm, which I did not review in a video because honestly, I was 110% disappointed in this box. Um, I opened it and honestly just closed it right back up. <laughs> I was just like, what is this? So I'm going to, I have my iPad here. I'm going to get another tab up and I'm going to pull, I don't know if I can pull my email to get that, um, you know, they send you like your postcard because they didn't send me one in here. So I'm wondering if they sent me one in my email, like a virtual card. So give me one second guys. <clears throat> My mouth is so dry. Everything is dry. I'm always dry. It's going to be the middle of the summer. Humid as hell. And I'm over here like the desert. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. Okay. Of course. Yeah, thanks, Boxy. But you weren't expecting this. Probably something stupid. Yeah, something stupid as always. All right, so um, it looks like they did not send me my stuff. So I'm gonna open it and kind of research it while I'm on here um, to find out what everything is because they didn't send me anything. So I have no idea what the price of any of this crap is, which by the way, this is how I got my box. 
Like there's no soft packaging in here. Like I opened this up and I was pissed, like beyond pissed. Um, there's a palette in here that's crap. Kat Von D liner I don't freaking use. A random lip gloss that I've never heard of that doesn't have a box that freaks me out. And a hair product. That was a quick review. But we're going to go through each item. Um, so the reason I didn't... Hey, how are you? I think they stopped sending the cards to everyone. And that's totally fine. Like, I'm okay because it saves paper. Fine. But, like, I need the virtual one sent to me. <laughs> so I can help tell you guys how much everything is. But... I'm going to go to their website, Ray. Do you think they'll have it on their website? Possibly. Possibly. Let's see. All right, let me sign in. Gosh, I hope I have my stuff. Oh, I don't have my password for here. It's on my phone, and I'm using my phone. I can't wait until I get my cord so I can use my camera for live streaming and not my phone, which my phone is really good quality. It's an 11 Pro, but it makes it extremely complicated when I have to use my iPad to search for stuff. And then like, I don't want to use my MacBook because my MacBook takes up a lot of space. So I'm hoping this is the password. Yes. Okay. So let's see. What is today? Today is the fourth. Yes. So I'm trying to find out where it is. March 2020 box. Okay, I think it's on here. Yes, okay, we got it. So the first thing that I got was something that I actually was excited for, it was like the only thing I'm excited for, um, was the Soul Su Sutra, yeah, Sutra, Beauty um, 19 millimeter mini ceramic curling iron with cool tip. Oh, I guess that means I can touch the tip of it. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I'm gonna open it up, we're gonna check it out. So it comes like this, and this was $50. So that pays for the box. The box is like $26. If you're not new, then you know. Um, I'm just getting really disappointed. And the, the worst part is I get so disappointed in boxy and then I'm like, I'm done. And I cancel it. And then they start giving out all these boxes that have like really, really cool stuff in it. And then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to sign back up. And I get like two months worth of cool stuff. And then crap. Crap. I do like this little bag. It's actually pretty soft. So it comes with this paper sleeve warranty and safety card. And then just like other stuff that they have. So they have blowout brushes, which don't really work for my hair because it's so thick. Uh, hair mask, hair serums, and you get Foxy 25. We'll get you 25% off of their sutrabeauty.com website. So if you guys want to use that code, you can. I will not be using it. They lure you in. Yes, they do. And the worst part is like they know that people are canceling. So they do, I think they have it planned. And I know this sounds like a conspiracy, but I think this is what they do. They send out like crap boxes for a couple of months and then like one or two good ones. And then they see their stuff spike and then they send out crap boxes. And then they start sending out to like a month or two of good ones. I'm telling you, it's a pattern. It happens every time. I'm not crazy. I am probably crazy, but it comes with a warranty, which I probably will be doing. I never do the warranties on anything, which is probably really bad. But I did try this on my hair when it was straight and dry. I'm not going to today because it's curly and still damp. But there's no temperature guide on here. Um, there's just an on and off switch and this does not get hot and it's just like your normal size and it swivels like this, which I love because then I'm not trying to like, nah. but <laughs> honestly it got hot really fast and it curled my hair. I would probably use this one like when I do my beach waves so I don't do like a complete twirl. I just kind of wrap half, let it go, pull a different one, wrap half. I don't even do the whole head. It's really actually cool. And turns out really nice so I can do a video on that if you guys want to but this one works really well for that because it's not big and I can kind of move quicker with it and it did get pretty hot so this one I did like I was a fan that's the tiniest curling iron yes it is really small like here I don't know why I threw it on the ground but let me show you compared to I'm losing my mind compared to my water bottle <laughs> like it's so tiny but it really does like it was I guess really a lot easier for me because you don't have that big thing if you're just trying to do like a quick thing but I got 
uh, I think it was a couple months ago, a little baby straightener from this brand. I believe it was this brand. I don't know, but it was for my BoxyCharm box, and that straightener didn't do nothing for my thick hair. So, but this curling wand, I tried it, and it wasn't so bad. So the next thing was the hair girt. What? Project Beauty hair girt. It sounds like hair throw up. And this was, let me get you the price, ladies and gents, $10. So, okay. And this is an intense repair yogurt. Oh, that's the girt. Okay. Uh, yogurt hair mask. And then it has quinoa and super botanicals for beautiful hair. Sulfate and paraben free. And it has prebiotics in it. So that's pretty cool. Let's see how it smells. I have so much hair stuff. If you guys want to see a video on my hair care collection, then let me know. I've actually minimized it. Like I've given a lot of my hair stuff away because I bought out a Walmart salon one time because they were closing. So everything was buy one, get two items free. And I went crazy. And that was like two years ago, I think. Maybe a little bit longer so. But I wound up giving a lot of it away. Oh, that smells really good actually. It doesn't, I don't really feel like it smells like honey though. I feel like it smells like almond. Oh, <laughs> I'm an idiot. It says almond honey right on this dang circle. See what quarantine has done? It's made me go crazy. So the next thing that I have in here is a Kat Von D. Kat, oh, I'm sorry. It's not Kat Von D anymore. It's KVD Vegan Beauty Lash Liner. I don't understand what that means. So we're going to look here at the description. The super pigmented formula will set in second in 15 seconds or less to transfer resistant long wear lash liner soft tip applicators custom designed to hold the perfect amount of formula so you can instantly intensify an eye look with extreme precision. Okay, but like where is it? What's it for? I don't get how this is any different than a regular eyeliner. I'm just looking at the reviews on Boxy. I searched it. And on my hand, oh, I think she meant swatched it. I swatched it on my hand, it gave it five minutes to dry, and it smudges afterwards. I haven't even attempted to use it on my eyes. Don't like how long the tip is. Looks intriguing. This was not my favorite. Who uses lower lash liner this dark anymore? I do. Sometimes. Calm down, Chelsea G on Boxy Charm. Um, strange application. Too messy to apply and it burns my skin and eyes. Oh my god. Awkwardly shaped tip but makes it difficult to precise and get it. So I'm assuming that it's just liner. Like it's just regular liner. I don't think. I just don't know why it's called lash liner. Because I feel like any eyeliner is lash liner. I don't know man. We're going to see. We're going to see. So it's trooper black. Trooper black. Oh, it's cute. Very sharp and pointy. Like you can stab someone with that. Jesus. Little, this is how much product you get out of it though. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, what in the mother? This is really weird. <laughs> Look at this. It's round. Like how am I supposed to get it to be? Okay, we're going to try it. So I'm going to put it down here and see how it goes. Yeah, it's definitely bleeding down. So maybe it goes up here. No, this is so weird. Okay, yeah, I hate this. I'm gonna give this to somebody. Sister or cousin or somebody. It's like it's a, it's like a liquid, but if you look here, oh. <laughs> If you look here, it's like bleeding down my eye. So we're gonna get some wipes. Some wipey wipes and I'm gonna wipe it off my eye because that was terrible. Terrible. So I'm gonna use my Ulta Beauty. This is my cleansing balm from Ulta. It's actually really, really nice. And I'm gonna get it off of my eye. I didn't have any burning issues, so I know someone said that that was an issue, but I just feel like it didn't really do anything. And as for being dark, when I did it up top, it 
surprisingly it was not that dark it started to fade almost to like a gray so uh, I'm gonna pass on that one and the price for uh, that liner is a whopping $20 Jesus yeah I'm not a fan so the next thing that I got was this living in color by Hank and Henry palette it's $27 and I was like, oh, like I never had anything from them. I did have like a single shadow, I think, one time. Um, but from what I've seen on their um, website and their Instagram, I'm not really into this palette at all. So it's square and it's chunky and you get nine of them. But I just, I hate palettes like this. So I think that the colors are pretty. I like the greenish and the blue. And then I like this one here. And obviously this one. Oh, burnt orange is my thing. I don't mind the colors. I just don't. I think this is like an OCD for me. I don't know. I don't like that they're sideways. And I feel like they've wasted so much space. They could have put more shadows in here. Like this. Or how thick this is. Like it didn't need to be this thick. This is a thick square chunky eyeshadow palette and you only have nine shadows in there I just feel like it could have been better and made better I just don't I don't know I'm not into this one like that it's not terrible but I want to swatch some of my yes <laughs> so I'll swatch this one Ooh, this one let's do a matte I'm gonna do a matte so those are the three Oh, okay. That's a little chalky. It's not terrible. It's a bright color, so that one is not good. Okay, so this one is a little patchy, but it's a brighter color, so that's expected. This one it looks like it's supposed to be like a bluish, but it's kind of like a black gray. It looks like a bruise with sparkles. I don't know. It does sparkle a little green when I turn it, so... I don't, it may be like a topper. I don't know. I'm not a fan of this one, but this one is really, really pretty. So they don't swatch terrible. Um, I just don't think that I will really get any use out of this palette. So again, we'll probably be going to a loved one who will use it. Whether it be my daughters, a friend, probably my friend Jenny, because that's who I always give my stuff to because she is really into makeup right now. So, and that's done with that. And the last thing that I got was Vintage by Jessica Lee Beckskind. I think I said that right. Probably not. All right. Let's see how much this lip gloss is. This lip gloss is $25. Sometimes I think they up these prices for this box because this is a little ridiculous. Okay. Let's see what we got here. All right. I'm going to try it on. We're going to try it. Oh my god. It's like double sealed. Oh no it's not. Okay. Okay. Alright. I'm going to share this to Facebook real quick. I forgot to do that. I can't get the plastic off. It's a stupid $25 lip gloss. <sighs> Okay, I don't know what's happening. Hold on. Everything in my life is a lie. Okay. So I went ahead and I shared it. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and close my door. Thank you. Alright, so here's the gloss. We're going to... So it has a brush like ColourPop and Kylie. So it's not like a dirt, but it's actual brush. And I'm going to go, so far, you've got a curling iron. That's good. Yes, that's it. That's all I got out of this box. So there's no smell. Oh my God. There's no smell. It just kind of, uh, it's very thin and it's not bad. It's not sticky. Yeah, it's weird. 
I feel like this is okay. It's just a normal gloss. I don't know who's paying $25 for this gloss, but I'm doing sure not. But, so again, another thing that I'm really just not into that made my eye itchy, that eyeliner. Wait, at least the box, it paid for the box, yes. So the curling iron is the only thing that I actually liked out of this box. And it was $50, so it paid for the $25. Hopefully, the treadmill box is going to be a little bit better, which I think it is because some of the stuff I saw, I'm like, ooh. But it did come with some eyeshadow palettes, the treadmill box, and I think I'm going to give those away. I think I'm going to do a giveaway for my own hand. So this is the last thing that I want to discuss makeup related. Um, so this is from OG, OG, I don't know, O-G-E-E. -E. A friend of mine tagged me in a post of theirs. I just want to open it up. First of all, look at this luxury wrapping. And it had better be because these were $90. They're lip oils, colored tinted lip oils um, for $90. That's it. It came with some of this. I might keep this. So if I do a giveaway, I have a nice little box to put it in. Um, I got it on, I think it was like 20% off. I'm not really certain. I'll have to go to my email real quick and I'll let you guys know how much it was. Uji. Uji. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Alright, let me go to my email to get you exact pricing. Ba, ba, ba. And I also miss going to Ulta. I know that sounds like so crazy, but I really do miss going into Ulta because I just want to shop. Like, I just want to go into a store and go shopping. I miss going shopping with my daughter. We go on the weekends, like every Saturday, we'll get some Starbucks. And then we go and we have fun and it's just kind of been, it's kind of been sad. You know, like when you, you don't realize the things you take for granted on a daily basis until you can no longer do them. And then it's like, okay, well that kind of sucks. Okay, so originally, I'm trying to find the prices. All right, so it's a four piece lip set. It's tinted lip sets. Um, and it's a conditioning lip color and they are originally $104. They're on sale for 90. I used a 20% off coupon and paid a whopping $72 for four lip oils. Look at this, so fancy. So OG, OG, whatever, luxury organic. So this is certified organic, non-toxic, Cruelty free, beyond clean beauty, and then Glowin 2020 is a code for 10% off if you guys want to use that. Glowin 2020. I lurked this makeup aisle at the Dollar General the other day because I miss makeup. Oh my god, yes! I was in Walmart the other day and I was like, ooh. And then I'm sitting there telling myself, because I'm just not real big on drugstore makeup, it's not that I have anything against it. Every time I've tried something, it hasn't worked out for me. I do have some things that are drugstore, just not very many. So I, I tell myself, like, no, Jamie, you're only trying to buy it because you want to shop for makeup. You need to just chill, chill. And people are like, well, I just buy online. And I'm like, it's just not the same to then to be able to, like, walk into a store and play with the makeup. It's just not the same. So it comes with a pretty little bow. I'm going to slide off. And this is the Darling set. So it says darling right here. Ooh, and then you have another little card. And it says OG darling. And it says tinted sculpted lip oils. A unique formulation or organic cold press Jehovah oil. Jehovah or Joba? Jojoba, I don't know, I'm going with Jehovah. No, because you can't touch it or sample it. I know, it's just not as fun. And a moisturizing blend of butters, nourish, hydrate, and plump, imparting an emollient, imparting an emollient, I don't freaking know, layer of natural shades. Immerse lips in a conditioning layer of beautiful, bold color. Featured florals in the Darling Collection. So here are the colors. Camila... Blushing Bloom in Pretty Pink Petal Pink. It's a pretty petal pink. I said that wrong. 
Gardenia, which is a down-to-earth nude in high pack color. Lena, Lena, which is a sun-kissed shimmer in tropical coral. And Magnolia, lovely luminous in sheer champagne. So it is certified organic ingredients, gluten-free, cruelty-free, not tested on animals, plant-powered, organic farming research foundation. That's, that's pretty cool stuff. All right, so then that's it. So there's that's the back of the card. So you open it up and some more fanciness is happening here. I was supposed to feel better that I spent $72 on lip crayons. It doesn't. <laughs> All right, so I am gonna have to wipe off the previously put on lip gloss, which by the way, I have stopped using wipes for my face and makeup removal because they're really, really bad for your skin. So the first one I'm gonna try is Gardenia and it is supposed to be like a nudie brown. So this is the packaging. I just wanna show you that, that it comes in, it's really cute. But it's just paper. Hopefully it's recyclable. Recyclable. Packaging from responsible sources. Oh my God, it is, okay. So here is what it looks like. Yes, it's a crayon. It's a lip crayon. I actually don't have any lip crayons. So this is interesting. And I do have my mirror right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this. Oh, okay. So it is a brown. Let's check out and see how much product we actually get in this thing. Cause they're like $25 a piece. Hmm. Let's check out a lipstick. <clears throat> All right, what's another lipstick? A normal lipstick that other people might have. Let's do a Jeffree Star lipstick. So here's, uh, I feel like this is really used. I think you actually might get more out of this. Let's do ColourPop one, okay. ColourPop, yeah, okay. So you're getting a decent amount. Um, it's not as thick, but you're still getting a decent amount. So that's not bad. I'll take it. But I'm gonna use it like crazy because I've been really into lip oils lately. Um, and the lip oils that I've used the most are actually, I don't know where my lip glosses are. Uh, I think they're all the way down there. But the lip oils I've been into are actually Ulta Beauty brand and they're really, really nice. Tangerine is my favorite. So I'm excited to try these and see how they feel. Let's give them a smell. Oh. Is it like minty? I feel like I'm smelling mint. I don't know. It definitely smells like mint. Let's see. <laughs> so it's definitely smooth. Easy to apply. Ooh. color it's very just like light it's not super duper I feel like pigmented do you know what I mean it's just like a tinted lip oil nothing crazy and you can probably build it up yeah so I can build it up if I want to by going over it many times so I like that I like that it's not it's kind of sheer it's not super duper thick it's not matte, it's nothing crazy. It feels really nice. And these are actually $26 a piece. I got them in a set though. I have to be careful because I always jack it up when I do that. It feels nice and the mint isn't like as strong as you would think it would be. So it's not tingling my lips or doing anything crazy like that. So let's go into the other colors. And I'm also going to exfoliate my lips while I'm doing this because they are so dry. Very subtle. Yeah, I like stuff like that when I'm like going to work or I'm going out just to like the grocery store so I don't look like, you know, crazy bum. But I don't like to put a lot of lipstick on my freaking skin is peeling so bad. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. Ooh, we're gonna try Magnolia. Magnolia looks like it's gonna be a little bit light and might not even show up on my lips, honestly. So what is one TV show you guys have been binge watching? on Netflix. I have been doing Criminal Minds and I'm obsessed with it. Obsessed. 
Yeah, so this is just like a pinky nude, a very light pinky nude. Um, so this probably won't show up. Again, with the mint. Yeah, it smells good though. This one looks like it has shimmer in it. Ooh, no. <laughs> All right, so this one's a little bit too light. For my, mm-mm, nope, 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 nope. I hate super light lipsticks. It kind of makes me look like I'm dead and have no color to my lips. So, that one's going to be a no. <laughs> Alright, $26 down. Supernatural, true blood. Oh, I love the ranch. We watched that a long time ago, and I've seen the newer ones. It's a good show. I've never seen Supernatural, and I've never seen True Blood. All right, let's move on to the next ones. I know what they're, like, I've seen, I guess, like, their, um, what they're about. I've just never watched them. So, I think this one is Camilla. Camilla just finished the ranch. It was good. Um, I do feel like it kind of shifted a little bit, and I was kind of like, mm, and got a little bit bored from it. But in the beginning, I really, really liked it. So this is just another pretty pink color, and we're gonna go ahead and see how it looks. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So this one is literally almost my lip color. All right. I can honestly say. I'm rewatching Supernatural. Was that good? I've never seen it. I can honestly say that these are okay. Uh, I feel like they're like a lip balm. And I really like my lip oils to have a little more moisture in them. Like I don't think of this like a like an oil, if that makes any sense. Like, I like the subtleness, I like that I can wear them, and it's not, like, crazy, but, mm, I don't know that I am the biggest fan of these. Ugh, my lips are so dry right now. Ah! This is what happens when I take a cotton swab. Mmm, it's my lips. So bad. Alright, so the last one is Lena, L-I-N-N-E-A, Lene, Linnea, I don't know, it's a flower. My husband loves it, and there are some I missed because I started watching it later in the series. It's a fun show. I'll have to check it out because, you know, we're going to be stuck in here for a long time. We're going run to run out of criminal minds eventually. But that one and what was another one? Atypical, but we watched all that one. And I think that's it, really. We don't really have, like, a lot of TV series that we're into. Okay, so this one is, like, a ready pink, but it has gold sparkles in it. You're not going to be able to see it because I'm on my phone. But this one might be really pretty. Let's see. We watch all the Criminal Minds at NCS. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, Law and & Order and all them. I'm really into those. Fun fact... I used to want to be a lawyer. I started going to school and everything, and I was going to take my LSATs, and then I didn't. I think I took it twice, actually. I didn't get the score. I took it once. I didn't get the score I wanted, and then I didn't take it the second time. And I just never went to school for it. I decided that I was happy with the job that I had. And that I didn't want to go to school anymore, and that being a lawyer wasn't going to be something I wanted to do because of the time consumption and taking away from the time with my family. And like people are like, whoever job does that, yes, but I feel like when you're a lawyer, you're kind of obligated to take work home with you, and that's just not something I'm willing to do. Well, right now I have to because I'm working from home, but usually that's not the case. <laughs> Okay, so, 
This one I think I like the best color wise. I told my husband I could probably hide a body. Yes, especially Criminal Minds. I will tell you though, it has me like frightened of every stranger that I walk by, especially um, white males between the ages of 25 and 40 because they're always the serial killers. So <laughs> if you ever find me missing, it's probably who took me. But no, I freak out lately. Honestly, I've been like, if someone looks at me the wrong way, I have to like kick my curtain when I go into the bathroom. Um, so I definitely told my husband, I think I've been watching the show way too long. <laughs> because I am like, I don't know, man. It's got me freaking out. Like I swear I hear things. Like if I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm like, oh my God, did you hear that? And I wake him up dead out of his sleep. He's like, I didn't hear anything. I was sleeping. And I'm like, no, I heard something downstairs. And he gets up and he goes down because God love him, okay? He doesn't think twice. If I say I'm frightened or I've heard something, he's like, I got it, I'm going. There's nothing down there. There's never anything down there. But I'm like, I swear, I swear. And like every time in the morning, if it's dark, he walks me to my car and then he checks for psychos in my trunk. So I should probably stop watching these kind of shows. But I'm not going because I love them. People are crazy these days. Lots of people breaking into people's houses and coming on. Yes, people are insane. And then you already know people are crazy. And then you start watching these shows and you're like, oh, hell yeah. People are crazy that you don't even know we're crazy. And that's what I've learned about these shows. And people are like, it's just TV. But the problem is these ideas of TV came from something. So something somewhere, somewhere, somewhere was doing this kind of stuff. And it's like, to me, I freak out because I'm like, your neighbor could be a psycho killer. You know what I mean? What's going to be the stressor? What's going to trigger them? Don't talk to them. Hello, 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 smile, walk away. <laughs> like, I just freak out, man. They will meet my training sword. There you go. That's right, babe. Thanks. But, um, so uh, with these, my husband insists I carry all the time now. I'm telling you, it's getting to that point. It really is, and that's sad. Like, I'm like I'm all for gun rights and all that it's just sad that that's the world we have to live in that that's what we have to worry about is you know should I have to carry right now should I not you know is someone gonna harm me harm my family it's so sad like I just hate that I absolutely hate that but so here are my final thoughts on these expensive ass lip oils um I I think that it's nice I'm gonna get my other lip oils out Real quick. I'll get my color for ones too. <clears throat> so I think that it's nice um, that they are very clean when it comes to like chemicals and products and you know cruelty free obviously 100% is awesome. No animal testing. The packages are even like recycled. I just I don't feel like when I put them on I could ever 100% truly recommend these to anyone at all. Um, not because I think they're terrible, but $72, like that's with a coupon. So imagine these are on sale. Imagine there is no coupon. These are $26 a piece and $90, $104 for the whole set. I could not rightfully recommend these to anybody because I don't feel like they really do anything. Um... I would think that them being so natural, they feel a little bit more moisturizing or nourishing, but I don't feel that way. So maybe I'll go ahead and wear them for like a full day tomorrow and I'll come back and I'll comment on the video. So if you're watching the replay, then look down below because I may have come back and updated. But for me, for that kind of money, I don't feel like, I still feel like my lips are kind of dry and like cakey looking. So I just... I don't think that these are my favorite the money for the money they could be more moisturizing yeah so and that's my thing is um I knew that they were gonna be a little bit sheer and I get that and maybe I just got a lighter color but I maybe have to try different colors like dark ones because I do know they have different sets on there but so for these I think I've said butt like 16 times so I have this one which is the Ulta Beauty juice infused lip oil it's nine dollars this one is cranberry and pomegranate and then I also use the tinted ones, which the, this one is Passionate Peach. I don't know. I think the other ones are all spread out in my purse and other crazy areas. Because I do have quite a few of these. 
but this one has more pigment in it and again is like nine dollars like look at that look at that pigment compared to that and these feel absolutely amazing like when i put these on these are my go-to my husband he knows these are in every part of the house every item i own my purse my jacket my car <laughs> right i am obsessed with these because these give you such a nourishing feel and they're so nice and they're made like with juices and they're nine dollars versus 26 dollars so for me i definitely would have to say that this was a bust um i know that my friend likes them i think it's a good idea that they are very organic and they're so clean but again i don't feel I feel like they just didn't really, when I think of something like that, I feel like it's going to be like creamy and nourishing. And I kind of felt like they were a little bit drying, which is kind of weird. Um, and I'm not all for the minty smell. So I'm not a big mint person. Uh, so these are going to be a no recommendation for me. This was such a negative like video. I feel like everything was like, no, 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 don't buy. Uh, <laughs> so, but with that being said, um, that's basically it for my live today, guys. Thank you for stopping by. If you're watching me on the replay, then go ahead and comment below and tell me what you are binge watching on Netflix during the quarantine. What is one positive thing that's happening? Like, I know that there's so much negativity going around right now, and we all kind of forget that, you know, everything is happening, and we focus more on the negative things happening in our own lives, but there's so many positive things like that have come out of this, I feel like for me. And like one of them is being able to spend more time with my family without distractions, like shopping and going here and going there. Every weekend we're always going, 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 going. So during the week we're working, we don't really have that time to spend with each other. And then the weekends we're still going and doing everything that we needed to do during the week. So I feel like it's kind of slowed us down and been like, hey, love each other, support each other, talk to each other. So to me, that is definitely one of the most positive things that have come out of this. I'm ashamed to say I bought it when they had all this stuff on sale. Buy so many, get so many, and I haven't tried it. Oh, you have to try it. You have, I am 100, I swear by these 110%. I have bought over, I want to say 12 of them. And I have gone through at least three. Like, no lie. And I buy them all the time because they're buys you get two free. <sighs> I love them. Tangerine is my favorite though. Tangerine and coconut. Um, <clears throat> completely off topic. Sorry about that. But so I just feel like we have to try to remember that there is good going on. Um, I know it kind of sucks. Um, I am doing or I am part of a group on Facebook that is currently donating or collecting donations for like PPE for the hospitals and stuff locally in my area. So if you are local to Maryland, um, go ahead and check out the link below and join the group and maybe see how you can help um, but we're really trying to just focus on really getting that stuff out there for our community because we know that like the healthcare facilities and stuff are really struggling so it is kind of just really a crappy time um, but I want you guys to remember that I'm not gonna sit here and tell you we're all in this together because I don't know why that saying really gets on my nerves but we are all going through something um, it may be different, you know, someone may be unemployed where I am lucky enough to telework or somebody may be forced to go to work and are at risk of catching this virus. So no one is in the same boat. We're not in this together. Some people are in terrible situations inside their own homes. Um, but I do want to say that try to find just one positive space, one positive thing um, for just half a day, get off of Facebook, get off of the news because it's become so negative that I just, I'm, I almost get sick just digesting that much negativity. Uh, I know I want to stay aware of what's going on. So I do watch like the live updates for my governor, but I can't sit there and watch the news all day and just reading just this terrible stuff and hearing it over and over and over. Because then it kind of just consumes you and turns you into this ball of negative energy. So I encourage you to get out and walk if you can. If it's against the law, maybe work out. YouTube it. I'm telling you, I YouTube 
workouts and there are tons of them to just sit down sit there work out read a book I don't like to read so I don't do that but <laughs> just anything to kind of occupy your mind and get it off in the negativity going on in the world um and oh I'm glad to see that you guys are getting closer learning how to cook that's amazing learning computers with you and my makeup baby is doing me there you go see what I mean and think about it like you may have had some of that time before to do this with your kids, but imagine how much time right now you have where they're not going to school or most people are not going to work. You, I know it's so hard to look at that when you're struggling for money or space or time, but just think about all the time that you would be missing right now if your kids were in school and you were at work and you guys were able to leave and this person has to run errands here and this person has to go here and make sure you get this person from daycare and make sure you get Johnny from school and then we get to spend two hours together and then we eat dinner and then we go to bed and we do it all over again. So just being able to see my children and my husband every day for the past couple of weeks has really been to me a positive and a blessing. Like I obviously do not wish that this would have happened but I just like to see the silver lining and everything if that makes sense at all. <laughs> so I am, I feel like going to end that on the positive note. I do want to let you guys know, um, hold on, my thing is acting weird. Um, I do want to let you guys know I am going to be posting on Tuesday. I'm going to be opening the trend mood box. I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon. I'm also doing a giveaway for that Facebook group that I was telling you about collecting PPE. We're doing a hundred dollar gift card giveaway for people who share and join. So I'll go ahead and put the link down below. But again, it is for our local hospitals. So if you are local to Maryland or you want to help and you can, then go ahead and check that out and just um, leave a comment on my video on that page or something just saying, hey, you know, Jamie sent me. I'm here. I want to join the giveaway. But I'm also going to be doing a giveaway on my YouTube because I feel like I have not done one in forever. And I really think that I need to do one because I miss seeing you guys and I've been crazy and been super busy. So with that being said, I am going to hop off here and I will see you guys on next Saturday, which I will be here live. Um, comment below. Like I said, if you're on the replay, let me know what's going on in your life. And what do you guys want to like see on my lives? Do you want me to start doing makeup on my lives? Do you just want like this chit chatting that we're doing? Um, and make sure you look at my channel for Tuesday and Thursday's videos because I'm back on track now, finally. So I love you guys and I want you to have a fantastic week and just remember, try to find the positive in everything. I love you. Bye.